All right, y'all. It's time for the selection. Here we go. Okay, so one thing um, I didn't do for the unboxing was on the other side of this, it says made for me. And it gives like a more detailed description of each tea. Um, it lets me know, more importantly, which ones have caffeine, uh, which ones are caffeine free. Um, we're gonna do one of the two caffeine free ones tonight just because um, it is past that sweet spot during the day that uh, probably should not be drinking caffeine. And one of them I think is like, oh yeah, uh, that one is high caffeine, which um, probably will be end up being a video that I do during the weekend, like in the morning when I wake up. Um, so here are the teas again, and oh, opening the box again, it's like just smell hits me once again. Um, so I've been thinking about uh, of the two, which um, the two that are caffeine free are the Maui Mango and the Amaretto Biscotti. And for some reason, what is calling to me is the Amaretto Biscotti. So that is the one I will be testing. Yeah. All right, so now that we've gotten the tea selection out of the way, this is the mug I will be using. It is definitely my favorite, Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. Love Alice in Wonderland. I'm totally tea based, perfect. Um, and then now we need to choose the infuser. So one thing um, I noticed is the squirrel doesn't seem to be super effective. I don't know if I'll be able to use him, um, mainly because, I mean, as you can see, he's supposed to sit on the lip of the mug, and I would assume the tail goes, you know, into the mug, it's just, you know, to steep the tea, but uh, it looks like the tail doesn't do it, and I tried, you know, twisting it to see if it would turn to go in, um, but it didn't really go easily, and I'm worried it'll you know, break the squirrel, essentially. Um, even though I can't use it, it's still cute, and I don't really want to break it. Um, unless, I mean, I could probably do some more research and just see if what I may be doing wrong, because I really don't know. Um, and so then again, also for this cup, I probably won't be able to use my dear sweet platypus, um, platymus, um, platymus maximus. Um, won't be able to use him because as you can see, he's just not tall enough. He will fall. Um, I tested this and look, there he goes. Boop, into the mug. No, I mean, I pushed him, but I definitely tried it and he falls. He doesn't stay, so I worry that he would disappear into the tea forever. So really, that leaves us two options. The elephant or Nessie. So Hubert or Nessie. Um, so... So I'm doing the Amaretto Biscotti, seems, you know, kind of fancy, you know, looking at the description on the back, you know, it talks about treat yourself to a deli to deliciously sweet Italian Amaretto cake in a cup, free of guilt and full of pleasure. Um, so I think I'm going to do Hubert. I think I'm going to do the elephant first. Um, I know he fits in the mug and he'll be easy pull out. See, look, there he is in the mug. Easy to pull out. There we go. Yeah, so I think Hubert's the winner. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, so here's the Amaretto. I'm going to open it. It's got a little tab on the side. Ooh. Don't break it. Time to do that. Perfect! Yay! Okay. Let's see if it'll open easily. Ah, there we go. Oh my god. It smells so good. It smells very sweet. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so for lovely Hubert, we just pop off his bottom, the bottom of his feet. And I have a little spoon. It's not a normal shaped spoon. And yeah, that should work. Okay, so it said one teaspoon to eight ounces of water for this. And oh my gosh, just look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Look 
Ahnung, oder? Ach, so Getting it all into Hubert. Oh, Hubert, you are doing amazing. Give it up for Hubert. Begin the tea. Doing it for the team. Lovely, lovely tea. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. Oh, and I wonder, I wonder what book I think will go with this tea. That is the big thing, too. Um, so I'm gonna finish getting Hubert ready, and then I am going to make sure that uh, my teapot is working and whistles when the. Okay, I have my kettle. We're gonna pop it open. We're going to take my lovely mug. We're going to put Hubert inside the mug. You will only be able to see his lovely little trunk, but he will be doing his job. So here we go. Oh, Hubert, stay. Oh no. First testing of the infusers, too. Let's hope they do their job. Hubert, do your job. Okay. Okay. Seems to be infusing. Some of the little pieces of the tea are, uh, are coming out of Hubert. I think it's only. He just needs to, like, absorb the water. But it is, it is steeping. That's the important part. I can I can see it steeping in the water, but it's really hot, so I'm gonna put it down. Ooh, really hot. Okay, so I'm gonna let that steep for a little bit. Um, I think it called for, let's see, three to four minutes. So I'm gonna let it do that, and then um, I will be tasting it, finally. Um, guys, I'm so excited about this. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the kettle back in my kitchen. Um, no need to have it out here and potentially harm myself with really hot water spillage. So I'm gonna go take care of that and then I will be back. Okay, I'm ready to taste the tea now. Um, it's been about three to four minutes per the instructions. Um, you know, I've never done a lot of research when it comes to teas. I never take my tea bag out. Um, this is the first time I've used an infuser but when I use, you know, tea bags for my other teas, I never take it out. Um, I guess I don't mind anything if it ends up being strong. I know it says, you know, to steep for three to four minutes, um, but I always take that, you know, to be like the minimum so that you can at least taste the tea. Um, I never try to do it, like, take it out, like, before it's ready or take it out even when I'm drinking it. I just don't see the point. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it, taste it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Let's see how this goes. It's still very hot. I normally don't drink tea right away, but it's... <sighs> it smells so good, guys. I know I keep sniffing it. <laughs> Um, I really just can't help it. It just, it, it smells like a dream. I really hope it tastes as good as it smells. Oh my God, it's really like a cake in a cup. It, but it's not like super sweet. Um, It, it does, it's not super sweet, it's like semi-sweet. Um, like, like, um, I know it seems so, like, kind of cliche, but it's very, like, cakes that you eat with tea. Um, they're not very sweet. Not in the sweet and just in, the, like, the confectionery, like, processed sugar sense. It's just, it's a nice, comforting taste. Yeah, some pieces fell out of Hubert, um, but it doesn't detract from like tea, and it's not enough where it's like bothersome.
Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, it almost, it like, it kind of takes me back to like fancier times um, when, you know, tea time existed, I guess, like England and stuff like that. Um, I guess if I were to pair a book that I would love to read while drinking this. I mean, it, it would probably have to be Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I, I don't know, like I feel like it's very much that type of tea. You know, and I just thought in my head, yeah, I'm telling you, it kind of tastes like a cookie that you'd have with tea. It has biscotti in the name. I'm silly. You'll get used to it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I feel it tastes, how I think it tastes, and also uh, I think Pride and Prejudice would be the good pick, so that will be my pick um, for the Amaretto Biscotti. Um, I also want to uh, make one clarification. Um, my friend uh, pointed this out to me, my lovely friend Amelia, who um, is a T for a bibliophile on Instagram, you should follow her. Um, she definitely is more, um, she has more experience with tea. Um, she knows a lot more about ingredients and um, flavors and aromas and everything like that. Um, so she definitely is better in the tea avenue than I am. And really, um, she is kind of kind of an inspiration for why I got like the, my Sips Buy box and stuff like that. So you should follow her. She's brilliant. Um, she's also a fellow writer, and she is amazing at that. Um, truly, huge fan. I cannot promote her enough. Um, especially her writing. So the uh, correction I'd like to make is one of the ingredients. Um, I had said that it was rubois or something in the ingredients and I had, you know, prefaced it by saying that I was probably going to pronounce it wrong. I did. It's actually pronounced rooibos. Um, she politely corrected me after I had posted that video, my unboxing video. So thank you, Amelia. Um, yeah, so I think Amaretto Biscotti with a little Pride and Prejudice.